According to the map, we should be coming up on some kind of green blot. I wonder what it could be. Algae, and lots of it. Yeah! Hmm, it's impossible to see where we're going now. Captain, look! Ahoy there, mateys. I can clean this windscreen in no time. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks me hearty. No problem. Algae is my favourite snack. Well, matey, it's lucky for us that you like this scurvy muck. Ah, you sound like a pirate. Ah, yeah, I am a pirate. I've always wanted to meet a real live pirate. My name's Parrotfish Pete. A parrotfish named Pete. Me grandfather Calico Jack had a parrot named Pete. Oh, Calico Jack, the famous pirate, was your grandfather? So you've heard of him? Aye, I'm a big fan of pirates. What be your name? I be Quasi. I could be your sidekick. Uh, Quasi and his trusty sidekick, Pete the Parrotfish. Uh, Doesn't that sound great? Well, pirates usually have parrots as sidekicks, not parrotfish. Well, I've got a beak like a parrot, but I'm even better than a parrot. Look, I can change me colours. Wow. Yeah, parrots can't do that. That's true. Uh, and parrots won't clean the algae off your windscreen either. That certainly was a big help. All right then, but we're in a hurry to find some treasure, matey, so you'll have to keep up. Whoa, my first day is a trusty pirate sidekick, <laughs> and I get to search for treasure. <laughs> Let's go, Parrotfish Pete. What do you think these pointy things are? I wish I knew. I'll swim ahead and find out for you, mateys. Ahoy, mateys! <laughs> this reef be full of sharp, jagged edges and narrow passageways. I think your ship is too big to fit through it. But according to the map, we have to go through it to find the treasure. Then we'll leave the gup here and swim the rest of the way. I wonder what these squiggly lines are. Are we going in there? What's that? And that! And that! Now we know what those squiggly lines on the map are. Eels! Aye, moray eels! These waters are full of them, matey! And look at their sharp teeth. Ah, oh, but we have to get past them to find the treasure. How are we going to do that? I can get us past them, me hearties. How? Moray eels like to eat parrotfish. But we have a way of protecting ourselves from them. Ah. First, I cover myself in a bubble. Ah. The eels can't see very well. And this bubble makes it so they can't smell me either. Which means they leave you alone. Very clever. That might be fine for you, but we can't make bubbles, me hearty. Oh, I'll make them for you. Octonauts, let's do this. <gasps> oh, no! The eels can smell peso. Peso! This way. Quick, in there. Quasi, bubble block. It worked. They can't smell peso anymore. Hmm. I'm seeing lots of ice chunks, but none with a gup in it. Better keep looking. Oh. Oh. I do hope Quasi can find us. Oh. It's getting bumpy. Uh-oh, we're heading straight for an iceberg. Flappity flippers. Abandon ship, Peso. Where'd 
did the guppy go? Look! Oh no. Don't worry. We just need to climb to the top and break the gup out of the iceberg. Climb to the top? Yes, we can do it. We're a team. Come on. Yes, we did. Now, the trick will be how to dig our gup out of this ice. Oh, all this moving ice is making me dizzy. I can't tell which way I'm going. Captain, come in, Captain. We've lost radio contact with the gup e quasi, but they should be around there. Keep looking. Oh, I've searched everywhere for them, but all I've found down here is ice, ice and more ice. like the captain's accordion music. Shiver me whiskers. It's not Captain Barnacles at all. It's the Orcas. Maybe they can help. Hey, look! Quasi! I heard your Orca songs. I thought it was Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles? We just left him and Peso a little while ago. Aye, but they never made it home. The Gup E crashed, and now they're lost somewhere in the ice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Quasi. We orcas will help you find them. Ooh. 